Thanks for joining us on another SOLIDWORKS video tutorial. In this video we'll be talking about sketch relations. Uh, for example, the sketch relations of horizontal, vertical, coincident, concentric, concentric um, perpendicular, uh, tangent, etc. Um, so we'll get SOLIDWORKS open. The first thing we want to do is click New, Art, OK. And in the previous video, uh, we went over the basics of sketches, uh, sketching lines and circles, but we also created some keyboard shortcuts, uh, and I showed you how to do that in the previous video. So if you want to follow along with this uh, the same way that we're going to do it, uh, go back, watch that previous video, um, add the shortcut keys, and then come back. So we've, got, uh, we've opened up SOLIDWORKS, created a new part. So the first thing we want to do is hit S on the keyboard which is going to start a new sketch. We're going to select the front pane and now we can start sketching. So what we're going to do is we'll draw some lines. So if we hit L on the keyboard, it's going to bring up our line command. I'm just going to click once, and drag a line out and you can see that when I hold this horizontal, you can see just to the right of the pencil is a little yellow box with a horizontal line in it. That means that that has that is a sketch relation of horizontal. If I come up to the top here, then that's a a, a vertical um, sketch relation. If I bring it down here again, you'll see there that it's given us like a little angle sort of uh, relation, and it's also white, so it's it's not going to hold it there if we click there but that is basically a 45 degree angle that it's going to put in there so let's let's draw some lines with no sketch relations so we'll come along here there we go. hit escape now we can see we've got blue lines but there's no nothing around them uh, and they're all if we click, click this sketch entity here we can move that about and it's it's dragging the line all over the place but say for instance we want to make this into a box or a rectangle what we can do is I select that line by left clicking on it and on the left hand side here you can see we've got a, a relations category and we've got horizontal, vertical and fixed which will basically anchor it in place so it can't move. We can click horizontal and that's going to change that line now and we've also got a little green box with the horizontal sketch relation. Another way of doing this for instance if we select this line here you can see just to the right there's like a, a sort of blanked, well not a blanked out box, but it's a faded box. Uh, if we go over that we can also select the sketch relations as well. This is just a quicker way of doing it. So we want to make that vertical. We'll go to the next one, we'll select this bottom one. We want to make that horizontal and click this one and we can make that vertical. Now we can see that all these lines have got sketch relations. If we do the same thing again, if we click on this point here, this sketch entity, and try and drag that out now, you can see that the lines aren't moving all over the place. They're staying in their sketch relation, so horizontal and vertical. Let's uh, let's do another one. Let's hit C for circle. I'll just draw a line anywhere in here. We can use the object tracking again. So, for instance, if we come to this line here, you can see there's a little yellow square appeared in the middle here that is the middle point of that line so we could bring come up from that now and you can see we've got that that blue dotted line that is the object tracking working there we can do the same here highlight the midpoint bring it along and now it'll also select that so we know that that's the middle of the, the bottom line and the right hand side line so let, let's click there if we drag that out now you can see there's nothing around side or to the right of my pencil again until we come here but a little white box appears that means it's got horizontal you see the dotted line coming from the center of the circle is telling us that that there is horizontal but if we come up here and and sort of bring the pencil tip to the edge of this circle here you can see to the right we've got a yellow box which looks like a line with a circle in and that is the tangent uh, sketch relation. So if we click that now and let go, you can see that if we 
hover over this green box and click it, click it, the lines that are selected in pink are related to that sketch relation. So that circle has a tangent relationship to this line here. So if we click this sketch entity again and drag that out now, we can see that it's resizing that circle as well. But it's going over the top line, over the bottom and over the left line. So let's tell it we want that to be tangent to all of these lines. So let's select, select this top line, hold control, then click the edge of the circle. And up the top here, we want to select make tangent. So now that's snapped it to that line. Let's do the same for the rest of the remaining lines. There we go. Now we can see that it's got four points of tangency. So let's click this sketch entity and drag it out now. Now we can see that that circle is staying within the confines of that box. Okay, so let's do a another, let's do something else over here. Let's drag the line out here. Now we'll do it while we're drawing. So we'll get the line till we've got that yellow horizontal sketch relation. Click, and then we'll come up here. So we've got the vertical. Click again. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, but we'll bring this line down here so it's it's in object tracking is, is bringing us to the center point of that line. Come back across and then click again. So now we can see we've sketched this and all these lines have all got relations now. But say for instance we want this line here. Sorry, I've just touched my uh, roll mouse. Say for instance we want this line to be in line with this line what we can do is we can either select this sketch entity and this sketch entity and click horizontal and now that's matching now so if we drag this up and down we can see that that's following in line with them or what we could do is select the, the complete line and that one as well and we can come over to here where we've got the sketch relation of collinear so if we click that now that's done the same thing, they're both running in collinear with each other. And let's do a another one here. We're going to do a concentric sketch relation now. So we've just drawn another circle. I'm going to click the center of that circle and click this, uh, sorry, I'm going to click the outside of this circle and the outside of this one. And now we can see we've got another a couple of extra sketch relations here. We've got one which is concentric. So if we click that, it's going to drop that circle in the middle of this circle, so it's concentric to that circle. If we wanted this to run or be exactly the same size as that, we can select both circles. So select that one, hold control, click on this one, and we can click cordial. So now, by clicking that, it's made that circle exactly the same as that one. Um, another one we can try is draw a line down here and up. So say we want these two to be perpendicular to each other. So if we set this one the horizontal and then we can click that, hold down control, select that line and we can select perpendicular. So now we've got a perpendicular sketch relation. Let's try another one. Um, let's no, let's go down back down to this one here. We can see that dragging this out is resizing these two sections of this sketch. We select this top line and hold down control, select this line, and we know that they're both going to be equal in size. We can come over here again and click equal. Uh, and now these two sizes, are gonna, these two lines are now going to stay equal to each other. Okay, so. Let's uh, get rid of that sketch. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, when you subscribe, you'll see a little grey bell which will appear. Uh, if you click that, um, every time we upload a new video, you'll get an email notification of when that video has been uploaded. Um, that's everything. Thanks for watching.